Erangium fetidum is a tropical perennial and annual herb in the family Apiaceae. Its scientific Latin name literally translates as foul-smelling thistle. Common names include culantro, Mexican coriander and long coriander. It is native to Mexico and South America, but is cultivated worldwide. In the United States, where it is not well known outside Latino and Caribbean communities, the name culantro sometimes causes confusion with coriandrum sativum, the leaves of which are known as cilantro, and of which culantro is said to taste like a stronger version. Common names Commonly known as culantro in English-speaking Caribbean countries, Erangium fetidum is also referred to as shadow beni or bandania. In different countries in Latin America it is known by different names. In Guatemala it's known as culantro or samat in central and western Guatemala. In eastern Guatemala it's known as alcapate. In Venezuela it's known as cilantro de monte. In Honduras it's known as culantro de pata. In Nicaragua, Panama, and Cuba it's known as culantro or chicoria. In Dominican Republic it's commonly known as cilantro anchor, but in some parts of the country it's often referred as cilantro sabanero. In Puerto Rico it's known as culantro or more commonly as risal. In Mexico it's known as cilantro mexicano and in other parts of the country it's known as cilantro habanero. In El Salvador it's known as culantro coyote and in other parts of the country it's known as alcapate. In Peru it's known as sasha culantro or in the Amazon region where fetidum is a basic ingredient. The rest of the country does not use it but use coriandrum sativum which is coriander but called culantro, which is different. In Spain it's known as oregano de Cartagena and in some parts of Spain it's called cilantro habanero. In Colombia it's known as culantro cimarron. In Ecuador it's known as chilangua. In Costa Rica it's known as culantro coyote. In Suriname, it is known as snekiwiwiri, meaning snake weed, and is used for preparing traditional medicine, but not eaten. In Brazil it is known as coentro bravo, coentro lago or chicory and is used extensively in Amazonian cuisine. In Trinidad and Tobago, it is known as bandania by the Indian community and shadow beni by other locals. Other common names include long coriander, wild or Mexican coriander, fitweed, spiritweed, stinkweed, duck tongue herb, sawtooth or saw leaf herb, and sawtooth coriander. In Southeast Asian cooking, the Vietnamese name Go Guide, the Cambodian name Gianna, or the Thai name Phak Kai Farang are sometimes used. In India, it is used mainly in the northeastern state of Assam, where it is known by the local name Mandonia, Manipur, where it is known by the local name Awafadagom or Shamawa, Mizoram, where it is known as Bahal, Tripura, where it is known as Bilatadonia, and in Nagaland, where it is commonly known as Burmadania. It is also used in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and in a few parts of Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. In Kerala it is known as African Mali. It is not much familiar in other parts of India. Spiny coriander is a leafy spice herb of tropical regions of world which is used extensively for garnishing, marinating, flavoring and seasoning of foods. Uses Culinary Fetidum is widely used in seasoning and marinating in the Caribbean, particularly in Panama, Puerto Rico and Trinidad and Tobago, and in Peru's Amazon regions. It is also used extensively in Thailand, India, Vietnam, Laos, and other parts of Asia as a culinary herb. It dries well, retaining good color and flavor, making it valuable in the dried herb industry. It is sometimes used as a substitute for cilantro, but it has a much stronger taste. In the United States, fetidum grows naturally in Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. 
It is sold in grocery stores as a culinary herb under the common names Kulantro, Kulentro, or Risao, Rikar. Traditional medicine e. Fetidum has been used in traditional medicine for burns, earache, fevers, hypertension, constipation, fits, asthma, stomachache, worms, infertility complications, snake bites, diarrhea, and malaria. Erangium fetidum is also known as e. antihystericum. The specific name antihystericum reflects the fact that this plant has traditionally been used for epilepsy. The plant is said to calm a person's spirit and thus prevents epileptic fits, so is known by the common names spiritweed and fitweed. The anti-convulsant properties of this plant have been scientifically investigated. A decoction of the leaves has been shown to exhibit anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects in rats. Erangiol is a chemical compound isolated from E. Fetidum. The University of the West Indies at Mona, Jamaica, has investigated the use of eningeal as a treatment for human strongyloidus stercorilis infection. It is used as an ethno-medicinal plant for the treatment of a number of ailments such as fevers, chills, vomiting, burns, fevers, hypertension, headache, earache, stomachache, asthma, arthritis, snake bites, scorpion stings, diarrhea, malaria and epilepsy. The main constituent of essential oil of the plant is erangiol. Pharmacological investigations have demonstrated anthelmetic, anti-inflammatory, analgesic, anticonvulsant, anticlastogenic, anticarcinogenic, anti-diabetic and antibacterial activity.